Let's say you've been spending countless nights in your basement researching, experimenting, and training, and after months of effort, you finally build a super advanced LLM before anyone else. Now you want to figure out how to deploy this LLM and make it available to the public so people can actually start using it. Except there's one major problem. The model you built needs an infrastructure to actually run it. Since your computer probably can't run this model, the first thing you might do is to look up cloud systems like AWS, Google Cloud, or Azure to host this model in the cloud. And once you have this proper infrastructure set up and serve the model for inference, you can now sit back and enjoy as people start using this model for the first time. But here's a problem. You haven't actually set up the proper way to manage the load. And now requests are starting to slow down and time out. And people are complaining that this model is not very stable. Now you realize that you need to implement a system, a system that helps you manage this infrastructure that is running the model. And luckily, you find out there's a system called Kubernetes that helps you this very problem. And with Kubernetes, you can now set up a system for load balancing and setting up a server with a resilient system and have proper scaling up and down depending on the demand. Now the model is live, users are flowing in to try out the model and life is good. And people using your system are now requesting for more features. They want updates, they want fine-tuned versions, and they want custom APIs for enterprise use cases. All of which is a huge potential to have more people use the model, as long as you can actually meet these demands. So even though you have the infrastructure layer that runs the model and you have a system in place that manages the infrastructure, you realize that you don't really have a workflow in place that allows the model to be flexible as a business case changes. You want to implement a machine learning workflow that helps you develop and deploy this model. So you divide up the workflow in two large phases, development and production. For the development phase, you need to do some data preparation where you take the raw data that's typically used to train AI models and do some feature engineering to essentially only extract meaningful data and prepare them as training data that will be used to train the model. After the data preparation, you want to actually start doing some model development where you can be creative in creating and modifying AI models that might be best suited for what you're trying to do. Once the model is ready, you need to have a workflow that can support actually training the model with the data that we prepared. And since training is a huge computationally heavy step, this workflow also needs to assign proper GPU loads and spin up and spin down as needed for training the model. And finally, your workflow needs to include model optimization where you can apply different hyperparameters and optimize a model before it's final. And the development phase then passes over all these tasks to production phase to then serve the model in production for people and applications to use this model. Orchestrating this entire workflow is not an easy endeavor, and you'll soon find out that Kubeflow is a system that allows deploying, scaling, and managing AI platforms, which in our case, it's exactly what we needed.